Hi, my name's Richard Holway. I work for Fujitsu Racing GRM. I'm race engineer on car 33. This is the Norton 360 technical section. And today I'm gonna to give you an insight into my role within the team, which is race engineering. As a, as a race engineer, my role at the track is to tune the car uh, with the, the range of parts that we have to tune the car to go as, as fast and consistent as it can for those particular conditions. So we have a range of springs, bars, camber settings, a whole range, myriad of parts that we can use to tune the car. And the job of a race engineer is to basically, he gets information from uh, the data, he gets information from the driver, and he gets information from tyre guys, from, from all, all different sources. and. Uh, to simplify, the simple uh, explanation is you combine all that information and, and you're trying to make the car go as quick as you can um, for that particular set of conditions. So typically on a, on a race weekend we'll start with uh, a setup based on, on last year's setup, um, the, the best setup we had at that circuit last year plus kind of recent set up trend directions, that, that stuff that we might have tried at the last two, two tracks that's worked. So it's a bit of a combination of last year's and this year's, plus what the other, you know, we keep an eye on 34, we try and work together with the other car, especially this year with, with our, uh, Alex Prema, a, a French driver who hasn't driven in the series before. Uh, it's, it's important for us to keep referencing back to Michael Caruso because he's obviously been in the series a long time, has a lot of experience, so we want to make sure we're not departing too much from his setup. So that it's a di little bit of a different year for me this year because a lot of my focus this year is to help Alex, one, learn the track, two, learn the cars and all the other facets of, of what's different about a V8 supercar than what he's been previously used to. A typical week for a race engineer at GRM would be we generally the next day when we return from the from the race meeting we have a debrief with uh, engineers and drivers and we go through uh, what, where we were strong, where we were weak, where we could improve, what parts we think we need to to make to uh, to, to make the car better. Um, yeah, mistakes we made, anything that we think you know to keep a record of where we were and what we need to do to go better um, and then obviously uh, depending on the turnaround time and, and whether we've had a, a accident damage or uh, you basically then working on the setup for the next track uh, and in, you know with Alex you know we'll be looking at vision from the car from the year before so he can understand um, the lines the way you drive that particular circuit then we'll be looking at the data to also help Alex understand how to drive that circuit and then it'll be with working with the mechanics to get that set up into the car and get the car set up properly and into the truck and off to the next circuit. Yeah, my passion for racing started um, as a kid. My dad was uh, very interested in racing and my grandfather actually competed in the first Australian Grand Prix at uh, Phillip Island many years ago and I guess as a kid I grew up always going to the Tasman series or the touring cars um, and obviously it, you know really grew to love watching the racing. I uh, went to uni and did mechanical engineering and I guess the natural progression from there was into uh, cars. I worked for Nissan and in the road car area and then they closed up in in, uh, in Australian manufacturer. I went to HSV, and that's how I got my introduction through um, Jeff Gretsch into um, the racing side. We I worked for a section of HSV that was in the next factory to HRT, and I got to meet Jeff and got involved. And he uh, took myself and Chris Dyer. We kind of volunteered to. We, uh, to help out at the races on the weekends and um, that's how I, I got into it. Uh, Chris was lucky enough to get a full-time role. And that would have been in 95, I think, 95. And um, I went to Brad Jones. Brad off I worked with Brad in 94 at Bathurst and he offered me a job. Um, 
and we went, I went up to Albury to work on the Audi 2 litres for a couple of years, so that would have been the 95-96 season. Uh, Chris then went to Arrows through a kind of internal TWR transfer to, to uh, F1, and I, Jeff offered me the job that Chris, Chris had, and then I was basically there from the start of 97 with Murph and Brock, um, to the end of 2010, um, 13 years at HRT. Obviously very lucky to work with some really good, you know, obviously the, the Brocks, the Scaifes, the Lowndes, the Murphys, Brights, you know, some really good drivers. We learned a lot and we had, uh, obviously the team had a lot of success in those years, so it was, it was a great time. At the start of the 2011 season I came to GRM to work with Lee Holdsworth. Um, we, had a, we had a couple of good years, a couple of uh, podiums and some, some reasonable success. Obviously Lee's moved on now so and now I'm working with Alex Premer which uh, is, is, a, is a different sort of challenge like as I mentioned before it's a lot at the moment with Alex about um, tuning him to the car and tuning him to the circuit so it's a different role but it's, it's interesting and I'm really enjoying it.